she falls into an awkward silence and then turns and walks away. It looked like she was crying. I wonder if she got into a fight. Who could have made her cry like that? Her boyfriend? Even a friendless, experiment-loving girl like her can get a boyfriend. No. There's no way that such an arrogant, abusive girl can have a boyfriend. But then, who was it? A sibling, perhaps? Or maybe her father, whom she hasn't seen in seven years. I'm afraid to ask. Kuris is scary when she snaps. The memory of her baleful glare sends a shiver up my spine. I hurry to the second floor. When I'm safe in the lab, I start browsing at channel. It doesn't look like Titer has made an appearance today. The Titer craze that has dominated the occult board for the past week is starting to die down. In the end, it looks like I'm the only one who took Titer seriously. Just about everyone is skeptical of him now. Especially the poster called Kuriko Han and Kamehameha. Honestly, I can't tell Titer's true intentions either. Suddenly, I hear the door swing open. Startled, I turn to face the sound. Kuris is standing there glaring at me. Her eyes are red. So she was crying. Why did she come back? Uh, I'm... おお。別に泣いてなんかないからな。いや、どう見ても泣いてただろう。いい加減なこと言わないで。そこはあるの。目が赤い。Her glare weakens for a second, but then returns at double the intensity. でも泣いてないから。論理性のかけらもないな、クリスティナ。in fact, she's not acting like herself at all. Did she come up here just to claim that she wasn't crying? She should have just gone back to her old hotel and cried into a pillow instead of coming here to make excuses. <laughs> that sniffle tanked any credibility she might have had. Even now, instead of going back to her hotel, she plops onto the sofa and hugs Mayuri's Upa plushie to her chest like a little girl. For the next few minutes, she just sits there, pouting and staring at the wall. <sighs> if the TV were on, then we could have a little BGM for some distraction, but unfortunately, painful silence prevails. The only sounds are the whirring of the desktop's hard drive and Kurisu's occasional sniffle. Jeez, what an annoying assistant. How are we supposed to get any science done like this? Christina. Your lips say don't, but your aura says please. Maybe she's begging for attention? Iga. Kurisu looks at me blankly. For some reason, Kurisu blushes and hangs her head. She hugs Upa so hard, his face caves in. She nods softly. Looks like my sincerity has reached her. 
<laughs> just as planned. Show a friendless, experiment-loving girl just a little kindness, and she easily grants you her favor. How do I know that? Because I too have you friends. <laughs> Kurisu's help is critical to solving the mystery of the phone wave name subject to change. Now that my plan has succeeded, her petty private matters shall no longer be an impediment to our science. Normally I, the great Hoawing Kyoma, would not concern myself with the mental health of my minions, but if this is the price I must pay to bring my dream to fruition, so be it! With this, Kurisu's loyalty is, assur is assured. Soon the world will tremble before us. I spend the next morning doing laundry at the nearby laundromat. When I return to the lab just past noon, Daru, Mayuri, and Kurisu are all assembled. But before I get into any more, here's mail from Ferris. There's a lot I don't know about myself, Nya. Why does Ferris have cat ears when other people have people ears? Why can't fairies speak in Nyan Nyan Nyan? Where is my home, the Chinchilla Star? I want to know the truth. That's why I have to go, Nya. To where all the answers can be found. Now, this is a this is another road to two possible achievements. Now, I can reply with either one to finish off the Hero of Reinet's achievement, or I can get the... Uh, I believe it's the cat's tea time achievement. I'll show both trophies off in any case, but I'm going to choose Chinchillas. No, not Chinchilla Star. Excuse me. I believe it's. Oh yeah, it is Chinchilla Star to finish off the Rhina thing, and I will show the other two responses plus one trophy for the other at the end of this video. Too bad your home world has already fallen to the great Halloween Kyoma. <laughs> and that's why I like being Okabe so much, in co even in cosplay mode. Alright, let's get back to the program. Kurisu sighs deeply. She's really giving us a verbal beat down. Nami いかにも俺だ。だが律儀にそれに従い、こうして時間通りにラボへ来たのはお前の意志だ。クリスチャンはね、本当はとっても素直で真面目な女の子なんだって、マユシーは思うな。マユリー smiles as she eats some nuggets from McD's. Not a nod to McDonald's. Don't let it bother you. That's just Mayuri's nature. I've been with her for a long time, so I'm used to it. Yuri flag, this while listening to their heartwarming banter, I go to put my laundry on the table. However, そんなところに置くなよ。汚いな。知るか。年頃の女子がいる前にパンツを含む洗濯物を堂々と置くのはデリカシーなさすぎだろって言ってんの。
人ともパンツパンツ言うの禁止マユシーは食事中なんだよそうは言いつつも口にナゲットを運ぶ手は止めないのな俺の話の腰を折るな I end up putting my laundry in the changing room 昨日ダルには話したがこれまでの一連の実験の結果を受けて気づいたことがある D メールには不確定要素が強すぎるということだ結果に対する確実な保証がないしょうがないんじゃない受け取った側がどういう対応をするかに結果が委ねられているんだから逆に言えば相手の性格性質を分析し誘導させることだって可能かもしれないしそういう心理学的な要素を考えるのはどこぞの法王院